there are numerous different reports that we can run off in project to display our information in a visual and engaging way. A picture speaks a thousand words and it's been proven that people tend to remember information if it's in a picture format as opposed to just text or numbers on a screen. So presenting our project data in the form of graphs and charts can easily communicate to clients, key stakeholders, managers, other team members, the key metrics of our project. And in project, we have numerous different reports that we can run. If we take a look up at the report tab, you can see we have a whole host of different reports divided down into categories. And these are very simple reports, but obviously you need to choose the correct one for the information you want to display. Now, all of these reports can be customized and we can then save them, print them, or copy the visuals into other applications. Now, we're not going to go into all of these reports in any great detail, because once you know how to run one, it's pretty much straightforward for all of the others. So let's take a look at a basic report that we can run. Now, before we do that, I'm just going to clear my filter. So let's go back to view and I'm going to say no filter. And we're going to switch back to the entry table. So let's jump up to report and we're going to run a dashboard report. And dashboards in general give you a good overview of everything that's going on in your project. So let's choose the cost overview dashboard report. And there we go. Like magic, we have some high level key metrics here. We can see the total cost, the remaining costs. It's 7% complete. And then we have some graphs that show progress versus cost, the cost status, and that's shown in a graph and also in a table. Now, when you do have one of these reports open, it's going to give you a brand new contextual ribbon at the top called report design. And if you take a look at this ribbon, we can basically customize everything that we see on this page. We can add things like text boxes if we want to add additional text. We can add tables, additional charts, shapes, and also images. We can customize the look and feel by changing things like the theme or the color. So if I click the drop down here, I could choose a completely different theme for my reports, and that's going to change the colors on everything. If I want to get more specific, I can select different objects and I can change the colors in this way. I can add page breaks, margins, change the orientation and the size. And this group is particularly important if you plan on printing out your reports. I'm going to take a look at that a little bit later on in this course. Now, if I wanted to make some modifications to this, it's fairly straightforward. If I want to change the title cost overview, I can simply click. It's just a text box and I can then just over type. So maybe I just want this to say costs report and I can select the text. I can go to task and I can change the color if I want to. So let's just make that red for argument's sake. What about if I want to switch out one of these charts? So maybe instead of this line chart, I want to show this in a different way. Well, I can just simply select the chart up to chart design, and then I can choose one of these other charts. Now the line chart is probably the best way to display this type of chart, but let's just go for a column chart so you can see the difference. And there we go, very simple to replace. We have chart styles in here, so I can quickly jazz up the way that this particular chart looks. And I can go in and I can change the colors to something different, but within the same color palette of my theme. Now notice when I click on this chart, I also get a field list on the right hand side. So this is kind of similar to a pivot chart in Excel. We can see the selected fields. And if I scroll down, you can see the ones that are ticked are basically in use in this particular chart. So we have the cumulative cost represented by the lighter orange bar, the cumulative percentage complete represented by the darker bar. And that is it in this chart. So I can make customizations to what I'm displaying here by simply deselecting or selecting other fields. So maybe I want to turn off cumulative percentage. If I deselect that, I'm now just getting the cumulative cost. And I could then add more fields into this chart if I wanted to simply by selecting or deselecting them. So really easy to make changes to your reports. And if I wanted to completely start again, I could deselect cumulative costs. And now you can see I can basically build my field list from scratch. So I'm going to add in cost to display those metrics in my chart. Don't forget that you have these little plus icons so you can customize the chart elements. So if you want to turn the legend off and on, for example, you can do that from here. You can add things like a data table, doesn't look particularly good on this style of chart, data labels, things like that. So you can really customize every single element of your report. 
So as I said, we're not going to go too much into this. It's definitely worth having a play around. And I will say that if you've used things like charts in an application like Excel, you're going to find this pretty simple to do. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.